Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, hi there, my name is Tammy. Welcome, please do stick around. And to my returning viewers, thank you guys so much for coming back to watch another video of mine. So, you already saw in the tag, this is all about my eyeshadow palette. Now, just to give you a quick backstory of how I found out about this trend. I don't know why, but I was in the YouTube streets. <laughs> And um, this video popped up to my, um, you know, my home feed, and it's by Just Peachy D. I don't know why it caught my attention, but it did, and I just clicked on it and I watched it, and it because it says all about my eyeshadow palette, and it's the palette tag. So I watched it, you know, and I saw that oh, this is looks like it's trending because then I looked up that tag and it was like boom, 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 a bunch of other women have created videos on this showing their eyeshadow palette tags or all about their eyeshadows so I try to research where this really originated from and I found out that it was started by Ali Glines I hope I pronounced that right I'm sorry if I didn't I, I apologize and Samantha March so apparently they both had like a collaboration where they came up with this idea of sharing the eyeshadow palettes that they have and they came up with like questions of maybe first eyeshadow you know oldest eyeshadow newest eyeshadow things like that so they created about 12 maybe 12 questions and I'm gonna just be sharing using that their quest the questions that they created share my own eyeshadows you know story and there was someone else that came up with like extra questions and I'm gonna try to answer one or two of those questions that she had came up with I'm just gonna get right into each question so the first question says show show us your newest eyeshadow palette so my newest eyeshadow palette which I already did a video on is my Wahala palette and yeah my Wahala palette still beautiful and I still love it then the next question says show your oldest palette my oldest palette is actually this palette right here and this is gonna resurface again probably in a couple of other questions this is my oldest palette and it's my Morphe 35 and this was the first palette that I think I've ever had or I had I ever had and it was the palette it was actually one of the reasons why I also started my YouTube channel <laughs> and it was the first palette that I used in my any I think my first makeup video so yeah this is it it still has this can you imagine I still kept this <laughs> yeah so this is my oldest palette next is my most affordable palette my most affordable palette is pretty much any Juvia's Place palette that I own because most of them are 20 bucks and I could just go with this one which would be the Nubian the Nubian palette the first one but this is the one that I would go with because I like the earth tones the browns and sort of the nude and just shimmer it has an, just enough balance to create a simple everyday look with and yeah this would be my um, everyday palette then my next one is my most colorful show us your most colorful palette I'm so glad I got this palette because I feel like after looking through every single palette that I own I want to say this is my most colorful palette which is the Juvia's Place a freak palette because it has the blue the green the yellow the pink ish or the purplish and like there's a bit of gold here also like a silverish here and it, like two earth so it, it pretty much has enough to create so many different looks with and I think I want to call it my most colorful one next question is my smallest palette my smallest palette I got this palette in a Coco Teak subscription box which I've already cancelled but it's funny because it's so tiny it's I've never seen anything smaller than this but I'm pretty sure there are some palettes that are out there that are smaller than this but this is my Coco Teak eyeshadow palette and oh well, not Coco Teak it's actually Black Radiance it's the Ur Urban Identity Shadow Trio and in the Desire shade which is like a purple shade I've actually used this I don't remember what I used it for but I think I used it because I had on purple or some I wanted a purple shade and this was like available and I just used it so yeah this is my my smallest palette next question says your biggest palette my biggest palette is again this because this is the largest this one has the most shades in it 35 as opposed to the others so yeah my Morphe one would be my biggest palette the next question is show us your palette with the best memory all right so I have two one good story good memory and one bad memory 
I'm gonna start with the good. This will be my one with the best memory because I did. Uh, this is a friend of mine. She had created a makeup line. And it's called Just Pop Cosmetics. I created a video to review her eyeshadow palette and also some other cosmetics that she um, started. So this would be my most memorable because it's you know I kind of felt special that she reached out to me to do a video about her product, and I did. And if you want to check it out, I'm gonna link it um, somewhere up here in the, in the video. Then the other memory is this palette right here. The reason why this is memorable is because where I work at, they, they don't necessarily allow solic solicitors, but there was some lady that just came and knocked on the window, and I was the only one in the office that day in the afternoon, it was a summertime, and she just walked in and was like, oh, I'm, I'm selling this brand and we're about to launch, blah, 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 and you know this is supposed to be like a hundred and some dollars like the whole package I think this was the only thing that I bought I'm not sure but it was probably this and one other thing and she was like oh I'm gonna give you this palette for 20 bucks and the other stuff for whatever I was just like first of all I'm the only one in the office and I don't really know you I don't really want trouble or problem I just I mean I just pretty much look that was what I was thinking and I was just like okay let me just buy it this thing so she can leave because she, I was at first trying to say no thank you but she, it's just like you know this I guess this is how salespeople do that's why I hate sales anyways they just would not give up so I was just like yeah I'll buy it. just I'll just buy it so I pretty much bought 20 bucks and tw bought it for 20 dollars and I never used it and I hate the fact that I spent that money but whatever it's the here and I still I'm, I'm not throwing it away because I used money to buy it so I'm gonna keep it <laughs> but yeah that's that's the memory it's not the best memory but it is a memory and I would never forget then my um, next question says show us a palette that is worth the hype a palette that is worth the hype is actually my Patricia bright palette reason being I've used it in my one of my IG videos to create a look just one of the um, one I actually just used like two shades here and I really liked it but I've, the reason why I actually think it's worth the hype is because it has enough eyeshadow shades to create so many great looks and I like the rich in life because I also like I said I gravitate towards earth tones you know browns and all that and nudes and this also has a pop of color that you can also use if you're filling up to it that day and it just has enough for the money it's 25 bucks I believe it's affordable it has more than enough eyeshadow shades that you could really create a lot of looks for so this is definitely worth the hype if you ever want to try the next question is show us a palette that is not worth the hype it's by Ulta Beauty Ulta Beauty I didn't necessarily purchase this palette but it came in one of those gift bags when you buy a specific amount of something from Ulta and then they give you a gift bag and I actually did a video not on this but when I was doing an unboxing or an unbagging of Ulta stuff and this was it and I never used this eyeshadow since I did that video it just literally sat in my drawer and because it's so I don't know it's just not it so no this is not it for me particularly it's not it so this is not worth the hype at all if you ever heard any hype about it anyways then my favorite palette from a favorite brand Juvia's Place Masquerade mini why because it has a pop of color a bunch of pop of colors and it also has browns in it so I could either just stick with the brown or if I wanted to add some shades some colors I could do that too so this is a very this is a favorite for me the next question says Show us your most used palette. You wouldn't believe this, but it is true. My most used palette, almost every time when I'm, before I record, if I want to do a quick makeup, this Beauty Bakery, <laughs> proof is in a pudding, has become my go-to. I actually received this in December, and I've been using it since, ever since. And before that, I think it was this. So I want to call this too, would be my most used, but recently this has been my most used. But I mostly use this particular shade almost every single time that's why I would call it my most used palette then the extra question was what palettes did you rediscover through using this tag and I want to just pull all this out so I don't want it to be too long of a video and that would be all this here 
I, I haven't gone back into any of them, but I have used actually only these three. I have never used this yet. This was a, a rose gold nude by e.l.f. I bought it because it's rose gold and I love rose gold and pink and you know, rose gold shades. But I will use it. I think it's a nice collection of or like selection of shades and I'm going to use it one day. But I haven't used it yet. But this is something I rediscovered while going through all of my palettes. And these are my rediscovered. Um, I bought, I don't even know where I got these from, but I think I got it from one of those apps that make duped, dupe, you know, palettes, expensive palettes, so they make it cheaper. These two came from a subscription that I subscribed to, but I never liked the subscription, so I canceled it. I've used this in one of my videos. I can't remember which one, but I did. And this one, I don't use it often, but I do like the earth tones in it. I don't know if I talked about my most expensive palette, but all right, so my most expensive palette is my Uoma palette. Now I know some of you have much more expensive palettes, like the Natasha Denona one, which is like $129, $130. I don't have that. Um, by God's grace, I will one day, I don't know, but I don't have it. But my most expensive is actually this, which I actually didn't buy um, at, in retail price. But when I looked up the price, I was like, I got this for a really good deal because it was 80% off and the original price is $44, but this will be my next oh, expensive one because this was $36, but this is my most expensive one, the Uoma palette. I think that's everything. I think I touched touched every palette that I have. Not ha I don't, this is not every palette. I have more, but this is the one I pulled out in order to give an answer for each question. So I hope you guys enjoyed this um, all about my palette tag video. And if you want to be a part of this, um trending whatever trending topic give it a try you know go maybe this will also be a way for you to you know declutter your eyeshadow drawers and whatnot and pick out which one is your most ex expensive your cheapest your oldest your newest blah 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 and share it because i would actually like to see it because i found myself watching one after the other the other day when i ran into this video and i was just like wow this is fascinating so you never know, someone else might be interested in finding out what type of eyeshadow palettes you have in stock. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up by giving it a like and also subscribe if you've not subscribed. I appreciate you guys watching to this point and I'll see you guys on my next video. Remember to wash your hands, stay safe, stay positive. That's what we really need at this moment, at this time anyways. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. What? My most expensive palette is my Uoma palette. Jamie, shh, be quiet. Thank you. <laughs> All right.